Good day, everyone. Dean here. Uh, I'll call you Zako team, it's, so you know who I'm talking to. Uh, good day, Zako team. So I understand Note uh, creation is underway, so thank you for practicing on this new platform. Um, more features are to come, so it will be further enhanced with more features in January, February, and March to build out a complete learning platform with video conferencing and all of those things. So this is just the first phase release, and all of those things will be in the app as well. So, uh, Toby has advised that um, information on duplicating notes uh, and um, deleting unwanted notes. So, I'm going to log in as Toby and just give you a little overview of this process. Okay. So, if I email, password, login. So, I arrive when I log in at um, classes area. Okay. So Toby has created this new math class yesterday. Here we are. And what I'm going to create, or what the program is going to create, is a Zakod math class. Okay, I'll be creating these later today, and you'll start to, I'll give you the class codes for them, for the respective subjects. You will join that class. So, you know, we had a group before. We're going to join this class uh, as well as the group and you'll share your content to both. I'll explain that, don't worry, in the process. But the situation is this. Toby is here. This is his math class from the program. If you had a workspace in the old Notes Master, we have created a class out of the syllabus in your workspace. So that's why you'll see this mathematics class here and the functions, statistics, computers, the notes you did in the old platform will be in this class. Okay? There's a section, functions, topic relations, and the objectives are here. The quiz is open blank at the moment because we are updating the quiz. It's a different quiz creator in this platform. So we just need to complete the configuration so that the quizzes in the old platform will open here. Okay? That's fine. You might see them blank. The next thing is this. When you click on a note, it'll open for you, okay? Here is your note. Toby Gondway, here is the author, and I am Toby, so it is fine. Here. If I want to delete this note, then here I click on the delete button, and it asks me here, if I click yes, the note is deleted. If no, then I click cancel, the note is there, okay? So that's how you delete notes. If you want to change this note, you click edit, and then you that takes you to the notepad where you can change it and save it, okay? The save updates appear here. So as a simple example, types of relations. So if I close off here to show you where I am, functions, aptus, types of relations, if I click edit, I go from classes to notepad. And if for argument's sake here, I just add a little something to uh, to the to the title, um, Aptus Relations D, and I just save it. Save to notepad, it spins round, successfully saved. Unless you see that your note has not been saved successfully. So successfully saved, I click OK. I can check it was shared. Here we are. It's shared with my class and also with these groups as well. It's no problem. If I go back to class to look for types of relationships, D, just to show you the situation, come back here, go into my mathematics class, click on notes. Syllabus opens up. Functions. Relations. Different types types of relations D. Okay, so the changes you make are saved. All right, so I'll just click edit again, and I'll remove this. So this platform is designed to be a, a class driven platform. It's around classes, making your content most easily available. So how does math, uh, Toby get math notes for his whole syllabus? So here is his notes area. As we see, 
he's missing quite a lot of areas. So if I go to my table here from the program, we see Dixon and Precious also authored math. So between them, the syllabus should be covered. So how do I get Precious's notes here? So there is a class code here. Each of you from the old program have a class created and each class has a class code. Control C. I'm copying this class code for Precious. I go back to Notes Master. You find your class code in members. Here. Members. Okay. This is your class code. So if you go into your class that was originally there from the program, you'll see your class code here. I, as Toby, here I am, Toby, I want to join Precious's class and take Precious's math notes and put them in my class. Okay? So here's what I'm going to do. I click on classes. I see join class here. I click join class. I paste in Precious's class code. You see, I have a tick here. I click add. And I now see Precious's class here. It's mathematics, so we, maybe we should call it Precious Mathematics. I go into the notes area. And I can see that there are different notes here. Integers, for example. So I click open the syllabus, integers, the four operations, add and subtract. I see here there by Precious Samata. I click on add and subtract integers. The note opens. This is Precious's note. Okay. Your video's in there, the links are in there. Good job, Precious. I want to copy this note. So we don't have the old approach of add to workspace, share, etc. We just copy. So I am going to here click copy, bottom right. And the page will reload in the notepad. And I would have copied Precious's note. Copy. Are you sure you want to copy? Add and subtract integers note. Add and subtract integers. Yes, I'm sure. Yes. I'm going to leave classes. The note has been successfully copied. You can see it in my drafts. I click OK. And I'm going to now go to the notepad. Here you are, notepad. So this note now has my name, Toby. If I scroll down to the bottom of the note, we see it shows the original author, Precious, created in 2017 and then published most recently in 2020 when it was updated. So I have this note now from Precious. It is in my drafts. And I'll talk about that in a separate video. If I click edit, I can edit Precious's note, which is now my copy of Precious's note. So it's my note now. OK, and give it a moment. If the Internet is slow, it'll take a moment to load up. Don't worry if you see it blank. Just give it a moment. I can then make changes, say, if I want to center the video here, center the video or there we go, align the video. I then click Save, Save to Notepad, and I can share this note with my class. It is integers, the four operations, add and subtract integers without using the line numbers. Share. You see, I have two math classes, so I need to label my math class so I know that I'm sharing it to the one that I want to share it to. OK, so I'll just click on both just to be sure. And then I click save. I can share it with a group as well if I want, but I'll click share. Note was successfully shared. OK. I click classes. So this is my math class. This is Precious's math class. 
I know that because of the members. If I click on maths and I go to members, I can see me and Precious. If I go to this math class here by clicking it here, a quick way of getting to it, I can see members, this is my math class. So maybe I just click on these three green dots to change the label. Um, just call it TG, Toby Gondwin. Update. Okay, TG Mathematics. So in classes, I see which is mine. But what did I just do now? I went to Precious's class, I copied the note on integers, and I shared it with my class. I click on my note, notes area, and I see now I have integers. The four operations, this note I copied from Precious this morning, just now. And here it is in my syllabus. And then the, the, the video is centered. Okay? So the process is you go through, you have to do it one note at a time. So if we go to Precious's mathematics class, and I click notes, I go through each syllabus, each note in the syllabus that Precious has done, and I open it again. If I click on this one here, Let me pick a different one this time around. Multiplying and dividing integers. So the process is here we have the note. The video will load the slide share. I click copy. Yes, I want to copy this note. It's saved to my drafts. So where is my drafts? Where is my drafts? So if you just copy it and leave it and you don't edit it yet, where is it? So if you just click Notepad here, and you go to Manage Notes here, you see your drafts. So this is a list of all the notes you've created that have not been shared yet. You can go to My Classes, select the subject that you have, Mathematics, select the class, TG Mathematics, and it shows you your syllabus here. So you can also manage your notes here, create a note, see where you have gaps. With drafts here, I simply have to click on this note and it will open up here. I can edit this note if I wish in editing this note. And then having edited this note, I can then share this note. So give it a moment, it load up here. And then I click share. And this shared note, I now know which one, TG Mathematics, here, share this note. So if I go back to my class, if Toby goes back to his class, he will see that um, in TG Mathematics, I have um, notes. And you'll see here again, I have two from integers now, four operations. So I have multiply the one I just copied, and the one I copied before. So this is the process of taking notes from other members in your subject teams that authored content in the program. So you need, for example, to have Dixon tell you his class code. You can then join his class. And remember, to join a class, you just click Classes. Not create a class, which we did yesterday. Join class. Put in the class code or in straight to the class, okay? So the program will have a Zacode Mathematics class code. It will have, for every subject we're doing in the program, it will have an English, a Zacode English class, a Zacode Commerce class, a Zacode Science class. All of these will be part of the program, and I'll start to create them for you today, and you'll join them, okay? But for now, this is the process of finding content, copying it, and sharing it with your class here. Okay? All right. Thank you for now. I'll and post any questions.